I'm Philip Jefferson, Architectural Technology Program Director. I'm talking about Michael Molesky, our student of excellence. Um, he started with us in the spring of 2021, and since then he has shown a strong interest in architecture and landscape architecture. In the beginning, it was hard to figure out what his interest was, but after a few more classes, he figured out his path. He became involved with our AIS chapter. He was elected treasurer, and now he's our student president. He has shown so much promise. He's changed in a way. He's a new student, and now he has even more opportunities ahead of him. He's our current lab tech for our department, and I don't know that we could do the things that we do now without his help. And so I only see great things for him in his future. So congratulations. My name is Melinda Rathbone, and I am an instructor in the education department here at Wake Tech. I've had the privilege of working, um, having Boomi O uh, in classes, being one of her instructors, since she started taking education courses back in the fall of 2021. Boomi just has this you know, way about her. She sees the best in everyone, and she, when you're with her, you just feel heard, seen, and respected. Whether you're a classmate of hers, whether you're an instructor, or whether you're a child, she um, models just her excitement and her exuberance for learning and learning best practices of working with young children. She's going to be a gift to the teaching profession and to a whole lot of young children. Hi, I'm Brenda Maddox, Department Head for Dental Hygiene at Wake Tech and I am proud to announce a nominee for Health Sciences of Cynthia Garcia Cruz as an Academic Excellence Award. Cynthia has been with our program since the beginning of 2022 um, in August when she was accepted into our program. She's been a Wake Tech student actually since 2019. She is a outstanding student in our program that accepts all feedback that we give her. She's a team player. She works with her classmates well, the faculty love her, her patients love her. Um, she got into this to be able to serve the community and has done an outstanding job so far in our program doing just that. She's also a remarkable story in that she has no family that has ever made it past middle school um, to be able to go higher into education. So the fact that she graduated high school was a remarkable accomplishment in their family, and now she's gonna be the first in their family to graduate from college, and we're extremely excited for her. Congratulations, Cynthia. My name is Beverly Bartholomew, Associate Professor in the Medical Office Administration Program. Chloe has been an exemplary student since she began the program in medical billing and coding in the summer of 2022. She has maintained a 4.0 GPA during her time with us and has also risen as a leader amongst her peers. In addition to her excellent GPA, Chloe passed the CPC exam on her first attempt. She also passed successfully the Microsoft Excel and Excel Expert exams during her time with us as a student. Some of the words that her instructors have used to describe her are driven, eager to learn, respectful, professional, committed, resourceful. She has truly been a joy to get to know and to teach. My name is Michelle Jackson and I'm the Dean of Liberal Arts at Wake Tech. When I think about Grace and how she embodies the Academic Excellence Award, uh, two words come to mind, persistence and perseverance. Uh, Grace came to the United States from Venezuela when she was 17. She dreamed of attending college but wasn't sure that was something she could do as an immigrant. Um, inspired by her aunt's journey at Wake Tech, Grace enrolled here and is now thriving um, as a student. She is currently a member of our C-STEP uh, transfer program and an officer of PTK. Grace exemplifies the Academic Excellence Award as she's had to overcome several obstacles and continue to be a student at Wake Tech. 
Some of those obstacles include her becoming more fluent in English and establishing a sense of belongingness here, as well as believing in herself. We in the liberal arts division are very proud of Grace and her accomplishments. Congratulations, Grace. Hi, I'm Kathy Spade. I'm the lab coordinator and simulation instructor in the School of Nursing here at Wake Tech. I'm very pleased to uh, announce uh, an award for Hannah Blackwelder as a Student Excellence Award winner. She's very deserving of this award. Hannah is a leader in our, on our campus as well as in our community. She has um, been involved in our Nurses Christian Fellowship and she's done an excellent job um, just helping to coordinate efforts to round up food and supplies for the nest the North Carolina Food Bank, as well as the Ronald McDonald House. Hannah is compassionate and kind and professional, and she's gonna be a wonderful nurse. I'm very pleased for her. Thank you. My name is Thomas Kaminsky. I'm an instructor of automotive technology at the Hendrick Center of Automotive Excellence. Andrew Raspberry, we'd like to congratulate you tonight for all that you do here at Wake Tech, in the classroom, in the lab, and outside with your efforts with the American Red Cross. Andrew, we'd like to say thank you for all you do here outside of Wake Tech as well. Congratulations to you and all our winners tonight. <laughs>